What's up guys, it's Tasha and I am back with some more NBA 2K content, but today I'm going to be talking about NBA 2K18. I know I'm a couple of days late. As you can see by the title of the video, I will be talking about NBA 2K18. Is it worth it for $150 for the Legend Gold Edition? Uh, my thoughts on everything as you can see here, 2K Tweet Now, we're excited to announce Shaq as our Legend Edition and Legend Gold Cover Athlete, you know, stuff like that. So, let's jump straight into this. So, the Standard Edition obviously is going to be $60 dollars the uh legend edition um a hundred and um the um legend gold edition is going to be 150 dollars i've seen some people talking about it's 200 but i haven't seen that at all anywhere because i know they have like a lot of dish a lot of uh, additional things that come with the game like shack jerseys um vc my team cards and stuff like that so a lot of stuff comes with like the legend and legend gold i'm not saying that you shouldn't get it but if you want to spend that much money on things, in-game things that don't really mean anything, by all means, go ahead if you want to. That's all I'm saying. I'm, I, I wouldn't, to be honest with you. Like Shaq's jerseys when he was on the Magic and like the Lakers and stuff, like it's cool and all, but like, is it worth $150? So I'll be purchasing the standard edition. Um, I don't know if I'm going to pre-order it yet or just get it around the time it releases still not sure yet but let's go ahead and jump straight into my thoughts on 2k18 so so far obviously we've we've um seen the prices of the game and stuff like that um and the things you get with the pre-order um usually uh they're pretty uh, i guess they're pretty decent last year you got a bunch of kobe shoes uh some shorts from kobe and some other stuff i think some my team stuff so um, you get a lot of stuff when you do pre-order it, but this year, I don't think it's worth it just because of the price. So, like, if the Legend, like, I don't know why. No, wh hold on. I'm just remembering something now. The um, Legend Edition is $80. I don't know why I said 100 The um, Legend Gold Edition is over $100 for some reason. So, uh, yeah. But anyway... You do get good stuff while pre-ordering. I, I, like I said again, it's just I don't think it's worth it at all for me. So if you were to go out and buy it and you're happy with your purchase, then that's you. But we have not really heard any like amazing information yet. Like, um, you know, um, like new parks, this, that, character models, anything about that. All we've seen is the cover athlete for the Legend and Legend Gold Edition. Let me know in the comments what you guys think will happen um like new things added um let me know if you're excited for 2k18 i know a lot of people have been disappointed by 2k18 just as, just because like how aggravating it was to play with all of its glitches and like when the game first came out the jump shot bar was working a lot of things were wrong as you can see here the stuff you can get sorry it's kind of blurry but you can go look at look at that on twitter the stuff you can get with the pre-order and stuff I know a lot of people are pretty pissed about this year's game they were really hoping it, it could take a big jump from 16 and it did but um like like the really only thing that changed is like uh, obviously archetypes being added into the game dribbling with being with a stick this year and people being able to do what they want freely obviously there was some spam involved there and a lot of cheese dribble moves that you couldn't really guard as you can see here this guy was just killing Keyshawn. oh man but um yeah um nba 2k17 was a huge jump from nba 2k16 in some good ways and some bad ways these this archetype business is kind of weird because it's like it seems like every other week mike wang is patching something because like sharpshooters and stretches aren't making shots they have to patch the green lights they have to make sure the greens actually go in like why should you have to do that this many times there are currently 12 patches out for nba 2k17 this game is so broken i swear but on the bright side it has blessed us with some good stuff like dribbling um, I kind of like the new jump shot bar now. It's uh, really good in my opinion. Um, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, major ups for NBA 2K17, but there are some major, major downs. But hopefully NBA 2K18 can make up for that and be much, much better. I, I'm saying these things now, but I, I, don't really, I don't really believe that it could happen. So, um we we'll just have to see what 2K do in the upcoming months. And let me know in the comments who you think is going to be the actual cover star for the standard edition of NBA 2K18. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. 
I'm sorry I'm kind of late on this, but I just had to let every, all the information sink in, see what people are saying about it, and then give my honest opinion about NBA 2K18 being over $100. Hope you all like and subscribe. Catch you in the next video. It's Taj, and I will see you guys.